Um, yeah, what is venture building in the Web3 space and what are we doing? We are not only event organizers, um, what you probably think. We are trying to bring together people to build things. Yeah. And, um, <coughs> sorry. and I found uh, familiar strategies and visions here in Dubai when I met Amin and when I met Khaled. And I'm very happy to talk about this in the next nine minutes and see what we are doing. I mean, please give us an intro about you, ma'am. Oh, thank you, Ralph, and thank you, Sagar. Uh, thank you, Crypto Oasis, for uh, giving us this opportunity. Uh, actually, I can't start without giving a comment. I feel I'm way too formal uh, for this event. You should have told me about the dress code so that I can go less. You. <laughs> and another joke as well, since you have been referring to Germans a lot, you know that I'm also married to a German, so maybe you... So maybe you actually made that intentionally. <laughs> um, I would like to start with a story. Um, uh, during the early 90s, I was a fan of a cartoon series. I think it's a French cartoon series. It's called uh, Once Upon a Time Life. And that cartoon series was about the human body. And it's a human body when basically we get sick, fever, or we get injured and how the human body reacts from brain cells, blood cells, DNA, immune system. And when I was a child, I was really in love with that cartoon series. And then when biology classes started to come, I started getting full marks. Biology was super easy for me, but I, didn't, I never linked it to the cartoon series. And then when I started technology, and then when I started going to multiple ventures, I realized that that actually played a role in how I got educated. And then it developed a passion for me that there is a lot of room to really disrupt education sector. And this is why maybe through the ventures of Bedu, if we use AI and Web3, we can really disrupt. If we personalize content and personalize experience, we can really disrupt educations. We can really disrupt other sectors as well. And this is why we started Bedu, which is um, we venture into ideas that can really be disruptive in this market. Thank you, Amin. I see the next parallel, it's called Es war mal das Leben in German, and I love this. And it, I think it was already in the 80s, but I'm probably a bit older than you. Um, yeah, what about us? When you look at the backside, this is a very nice picture made from our designer, Jassi and Faisal, and it shows my life at the moment. On one side, we have Switzerland, we have this boring small town, Zug, and on the other side, we have on the other side of the lake, Dubai. Uh, and it's an amazing, amazing opportunity to be in Crypto Valley and Crypto Oasis on both sides. And it's a privilege for me to bring entrepreneurs from Switzerland to the Middle East and help them to grow here because I think that's a very important thing. Uh, and this is part of venture building. I see Tony here. Um, I see a lot of people here. Uh, you saw Andre before. And, and that's what it is about. But when you look back, and I have to look by myself, um, you know, we, we started in ACTA in 2009, basically in the same year when Bitcoin started. And we have after me, or after us, we have Brock Pierce here, the president of the Bitcoin Foundation at the moment. And uh, I hope that more people come in and listen to him because he has a story to tell. And um, what we are doing is we are bringing digital transformation to big corporations. And that's a similar thing what Amin is doing as well. And that's the reason why we are partnering up and we try to bring this technology of AI, Web3, blockchain uh, to these big corporations because for real adoption, I think we need to get the corporates at the end of the day. Um, so please tell us a bit, what did you do already on projects? Um, yeah, there is a lot. I think the merge between the two, uh, AI and Web3, opens uh, a lot of opportunities for us and use cases. Um, um, I'm making this announcement actually today. We are uh, proud to make uh, one of the few ideas to introduce in the venture studio, the venture building. Uh, it's related to real estate. We found a gap uh, of how we can basically improve tokenization and fractionizing of real estate, enabling more than 50% of the population in UAE to start investing in real estate. Um, just because they are low in income um, and they, um, they feel the risk in investing in big value in real estate, then why tokenizing and fractionizing, you can enable that. We found another gap of the consumers being able to fractionize their own assets and sell only 10% of it, rather than liquidate the entire asset. So th this is a project that is going through the Venture Studio as part of Bedu. 
But previously to that, how did we come up to this? We, we basically realized that there is a major strength that we have as founder, myself and Khaled, in uh, finding different ventures. We did that in the, uh, previously in the healthcare, healthcare industry. We are proud to, together we actually founded a platform that tracks every single medicine that comes to the country, every single medicine that's being consumed, sold by every pharmacy. Um, it's a platform that's being operated by the Ministry of Health. As a result of that idea, there is an ecosystem that got created. There is a private entity, a tech company, operates that platform on a shared revenue with the Ministry of Health. It's a one billion revenue platform. Um, we did it. It was for the sake of, uh, of another entity. We did another venture as well with a government where we um, created a completely integrated government platform. And as a result, an entity in the government got established from that idea of a tech company. Um, we realized that power. We realized the power that we can really create ventures, and this is what we wanted to replicate. Also here, we have a parallelity. Um, we built in Switzerland something which is <coughs> optimizing the, um, the invoicing of insurance and the patients, and um, it's a big platform today. It has been built before the Web3 standard, so we needed an entity to build it up today. Uh, it wouldn't need that entity anymore. It could be decentralized and it could be cheaper and more efficient. So when we look into that, what we are doing, and I'm looking back to that, um, on, the, on the core we're building the ecosystems like Crypto Valley, Crypto Aces. On the next level we work on thought leadership. Thought leadership means people like you on stage, people like Brock on stage, people early in the space and really doing stuff. Yeah? And then there's venture services and venture building. That means we help big corporations to get into that. Because if you want to do innovation, you need to be innovative from your side. I mean, I like always what Henry Ford said. Uh, if I would ask people about it, they wanted faster horses. Uh, and, you know, uh, when you want to be innovative, you need to come up with ideas. We call this excubating. Take it out of corporates bring the idea in a new entity, and then grow that. Yeah? And on the top, of course, uh, the venture allocation or the capital allocation is very important. Uh, we are betting on that space, and we have a few unicorns here today. We invested in more than 100 projects, and we want to go on with that. I mean, it's super exciting times. I was a bit too young for the internet phase. I was there, but more passive. Now I'm old enough. <coughs> and what is even more important, now we have the right network to do it. Uh, probably tell us a bit about the network you have here in the UAE. Yeah. Um, we have, um, in addition to the network, um, we have a strong ecosystem around us in the UAE, supported by infrastructure, supported by uh, regulation. And Sorry, when I refer to infrastructure, I'm not only referring to the tech infrastructure. I'm referring to the, the entire country, the entire city, from hospitality, health care. Sorry, one moment. Can we play the video in the background? I tried to start the video. Sorry. Yep. Um, over, over the last, let's say, 15 years, uh, myself and Khan have definitely developed a very strong network um, from people that we interacted with, did business with, um, active engagement at the moment with, from royal family, ministry level, People that we did business, as I highlighted uh, in the examples before, tech industry, uh, we would like to basically leverage, as they say, it's not basically what you know, it's whom you know, uh, that you can actually develop uh, businesses with. And it's a, it's a big, rich uh, network that we would like to basically capitalize on. Yeah. I mean, this is an important thing. I met Khaled, I met you. Bia grew in 15 years to 30,000 people, if I'm right. Uh, it's one of the biggest waste management companies in the region now. And more interesting, um, in the last few days, you announced a project together with Roland Berger, with Definity, um, where, for example, not carbon credits, waste management credits are built out. So we see this venturing in this space and the tokenization. You see some nice projects in the background what you did already in the NFT space and probably with the art. You want to tell us a bit about the projects? Yeah. yeah I think these are um, ideas that we basically started for the last two years. We wanted to experiment in the Web3 space, in the digital asset space as well in the metaverse. We, we launched several projects. Um, the, the whole story was not on the final outcome. It's the process of building. 
the process of really understanding what are the tools that we can build and how we can build it so that we can use it in real world scenarios. Um, we basically have engaged with multiple government entities as we try to build use cases that can merge AI and Web3. You can see beautiful art behind me. Uh, definitely we are very proud of the different artists that we collaborated with and the different digital asset projects. But it was all means to basically develop tools that we can inject in real world use cases. I mean, with that, it's quite easy for me. Um, keep on building is the story. I mean, we are building ventures. We are building it with big corporates. After us is someone coming who built Tether. Yeah? Probably not the smallest thing in, in our space at the moment. But I think Tether is only for transactions there. And we need some applications in the real world using it. And um, yeah, let's build. And thank you, Amin, for being here. Um, thank you so much. Thank you both. Give them a big round of applause.